Before doing any stop motion animation, let's hook up the camera. Hook in the USB to your PC, as well as the USB to your camera. Then set your camera mode. I like to use M for more control, manual. Then turn on the camera. And set the focus, either autofocus or manual focus. I like manual focus for more control. You're now ready to get into the tutorial about how to do stop motion animation using your DSLR in Video Studio. Stop motion animation was included in Video Studio Pro X5. It included webcam and direct show driver support, which meant that you could use webcams or direct show type cameras to be able to capture your animation. One downside of that is the resolution of these types of cameras. With Video Studio Pro X6, we have included support for compatible Canon DSLR cameras. DSLR cameras, used mostly in photography, are now being used more and more in video, and with Video Studio Pro X6, you can use your DSLR to make a spectacular stop motion animation. Make sure your camera's on and hooked up as we showed earlier in this video. Click on the capture button. Click on the stop motion button. The stop motion dialog appears. Your Canon DSLR camera will initialize and will show in the top right of your screen. Enter your project name, the capture folder on your computer, the library in Video Studio, in this case I'm using vids as my library. The stop motion settings. Here you have image duration. These are the number of frames captured every time the camera captures. The capture resolution. We've included DSLR settings, as you can see in the pull down. The auto capture button, which allows you to either switch between manual capture, which will capture a frame every time you click on the button or auto capture which allows you to set an interval for capture. If I go into its settings you can see the capture interval here. I'll set it to 4 seconds and I'll capture a total of 30 frames. Now what will happen is every time I click this button it will allow a capture every 4 seconds so that allows me to put my hand into the scene and be able to move my model without having to come back and click the manual capture button every time. You also have onion skinning, which allows you to see the previous frame in a transparent mode when you move your model. This is very handy when you want to make small movements and reference the previous frame. Let's capture some frames. You can stop the capture process anytime by clicking on the stop button. If you want to use a more detailed DSLR controlling mode, click on the enlarged mode. The enlarged mode gives you a larger preview and shows you the settings of your DSLR camera along the preview window. I have my camera set to manual mode. Here we have the image quality of my camera and this is something that is achieved from the camera. I have other values like setting exposure value, the white balance, autofocus and manual focus, I have my camera set to manual focus right now, but you may want to use autofocus and allow the software to focus on your op mo models. Focus, that's showing the focus control. Your f-stop. Your shutter speed. Your ISO settings. And these are all settings from your camera. The record and play buttons. The return to standard mode, the previous user interface how long your animation is, the degree of onion skinning, the auto capture settings, and the capture resolutions. Here we have the different resolutions that can be captured by this DSLR, as well as the aspect ratios. Once you have finished capturing in this mode, you can say save and exit. This now brings your animation into Video Studio. Once in Video Studio, you can use it as a video file. So for instance here I'll just zoom right out and you can see here now my captured animation and I can scrub through it as if I was working on a video clip. I can use all the different filters and all the different effects within Video Studio to enhance my stop motion animation.